Well, it looks like uh, Silver has uh, left the launching pad, maybe. Um, up 5% on huge volume, 21 million shares. Uh, not as big as yesterday, but this kind of volume that's coming in here and the supply and demand is turning up to where the demand is a rising, uh, trying to cross the supply. It hasn't done that yet, but the relative strength is uh, up. It looks, uh, it's above 50, it's right about 60, so it looks good. Um, looks like we could be headed for a next leg up. Uh, next week, um, it depends. Whatever whatever the high is tomorrow, whatever the high was this week, so far it's 1351. Whatever the high is after tomorrow will be the new trend change. If, we were, if we're above that next week, then the trend will have changed upward again, and it will be a buy signal for, uh, for you uh, main, main strategy uh, followers. I bought a little bit of uh, SLV yesterday, so I made some money today. But it's not; it, it, it was uh, um, only about 75% chance of going higher today. And on the main on the main strategy, I like for that to be at least 85, 90% of going higher. So that's how we do that. Uh, I bought GSS and made uh, 14, almost 15%. Uh, it's a little penny stock that I trade. Um, so I'm gonna just hold these positions for now. Looks like uh, inflationary forces are upon us. So if you're in and you got a profit, just hold on. Uh, but you should have a stop loss. If you're SLV, you should have a stop loss. If you own it, um, put a stop loss at about 1250. Yeah, yeah, about 1250 is what you want. Because if it goes down to that again, it's probably going to go lower. So um, that's about it. Uh, they're going to print money, and now they're monetizing our debt, which means. The income taxes they charge us isn't enough to pay off the uh, the interest on uh, on the debt that the government borrows from foreign countries and uh, the foreign countries charge interest and the government taxes us to pay that interest. Uh, well, the interest has risen so high that they can't collect enough taxes to pay for it, so now they have to print the money to pay the, the interest, and that doesn't even include paying off the principal. So they're just inflating this uh, huge bubble and it's going to get a lot bigger and the only way to keep it alive is to keep printing uh, failure is built into the system and you know I don't see how hyperinflation can't come out so and I had just secured uh, not too long ago my 500th ounce uh, um, so that was cool I haven't hasn't been delivered to me yet but uh, so that got in I got it might have got in just in time um, uh, that's about it for the day. I haven't really heard anything else. I'm um, watching these jokers on TV try to. Exp they hate gold on TV. They tell them to sell it if it gets to a thousand. They're just idiots. They they're not. They're, they're none, they know they don't know a damn thing. I've never learned anything from Kramer. I, I've never learned anything from Fast Money. I don't even know why I still watch that stupid show. Because they're t totally biased and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. I can trade better than these jokers. So anyway. Uh, that's right, I'm better than they are. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, um, hold the long position. Um, next week, probably a, a, a genuine buy uh, based on the main strategy. So let's do that. And thanks for all the comments and the questions and all that. Uh, it's, it's pretty fun. Um, what else? Uh, we, if, you, if you already own and we get a buy signal next week, then you want to add to your position. You know, you got to be in when it goes up or why, you know, there's no reason else to be in it. But silver at this price is pretty much a joke so everything's falling into place uh, if I hear of anything else or think of anything else uh, I will do another one but we'll see it'll be interesting tomorrow I expect silver let me look at the chart real quick again yeah it looks like the resistance is 1350 now um, I'd give it I, I bet silver's down a little bit tomorrow but a little bit of pullback and then on Monday it'll break above 1350 again, and that'll be the buy signal on Monday. So let's see if let's let's see based on my experience if I'm right. Tomorrow might be down to like 1325, maybe 1310, somewhere in there. And then on Monday it'll go above 1350, and that'll be a buy signal for everybody to buy. Um, and I'm gonna remember I said that. And if I'm wrong, I'll say I was wrong. But uh, you know I like to test my accuracy and see what's going to see what's going to happen. So. There's a pretty good chance that it's going to pull back a little bit tomorrow, um, just because it's been up a lot. A lot of volume has come in, so down tomorrow and then buy signal on Monday. 
but I'll let me confirm that first. Don't just don't just do that. <laughs> let me confirm it first. All right, that is all.